Abby. I'm Ashley. And we watched a movie a long time ago again, but this we decided to review it even though it's not still available to stream on Netflix. We apologize, you probably saw it. And yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, one of the classics these yes. days. It's called Rotisserie Chicken. So, my opinion on the story, it didn't really have any meat to it. I mean, the plot just kept spinning and I thought there was going to be a turning point, but really, it was rather dry. I mean, I completely disagree. I didn't think they chickened out at all. I thought they really went for it in this. It was like just tearjerker and emotional and dry. No, I think it was like, it, it wasn't overdone at all in my opinion. It was like just right. I think the story needed some dressing to go along with it though. Like... No, because then that's just adding gravy and then you, you don't want that. You want, you want the meat and nothing else. So, but. I mean, the cast was definitely golden. Very good cast, I'll give him that, but, I mean, I loved our heroine. She was to die for, to say, to say the least. Um, I'd invite her to dinner, probably. I don't know, I just thought that the setting was very monotone, it looked really hot, like, she looked very uncomfortable the entire time. But I mean, that was, that was the point, that was her struggle. She was going through the struggle, she needed to make it, she just... And in the end, it's, it's just all about how, like, sometimes we go round and round, but we'll never get where we want to be. I don't know. How I mean, did you not feel from that? I just felt like her heroine wasn't really going anywhere. She just stayed in the same kind of direction. She took the same turns over and over again. I mean, I guess she didn't really learn any lessons. She just kept going round and round and round. But, like, sometimes that's what people do. There's a lot to learn from it in a way for us as people to watch. I don't know. I loved it. Rotisserie Chicken is definitely one to watch if they ever bring it back on Netflix. Maybe you can find an illegal copy somewhere. I'm not recommending that. That's probably not something you should say. But maybe you can buy the DVD. But buy the it was DVD. just beautiful. It was... I can still smell it. I mean, yeah. But at one point she was kind of just spinning around and around, and it was like out of the frying pan and into the fryer, you know? I don't know. Personally, I felt hungry for more after it was over, so I want a sequel. Maybe... Tisserie Turkey? Next year. Tisserie Turkey? It'd be an interesting awesome. spin on our heroine, because I'm very well, sick of seeing all this white meat this in the media today. Yeah only ever casting white people. It's definitely, definitely be good to get some diversity up in our media. Yeah. So, completely agree with you on that one. It's like, it'd be a whole different heroine. I'm glad they did cast a female for this though. Me too. Of, that male. was good. So, I don't, I don't know, not much else to say. I'm gonna give this zero O's because I believe in it and believe in a thing called love. I'll give it zero O's as well. Filmography was very nice. It was so beautiful and it just like, it never, he almost like didn't even notice cuts. I don't feel like it ever, it was yeah. so flowy, it, just, it never seemed to cut anywhere. It was very fluid, it was a very fluid movie. So despite the fact that I felt it was rather raw and not fully developed, I'll go ahead and give it zero O's as well. Rotisserie Chicken, check it out. Netflix nom. Nom. <laughs>